All right, so before we get started, I just wanna address one thing. The reason why I have my hair up right now is because I have this crazy rash going on on my neck right now, and every time my hair glides across it, it just kills me. It's so painful, and it's so ugly looking, and I didn't wanna to shoot today, but I made a promise to myself that I would shoot a monthly video every single month, and I actually have quite a few this month, so I'm gonna hold myself accountable and do this even though I'm not at my best. So I hope you guys can bear with me. I know it's disgusting, and I might pause every once in a while because my throat has been closing up as well. It's a crazy allergic reaction. My mom gave me this, like, I think it's a Thai Vietnamese salt shrimp thing. It's delicious, it's kind of spicy. I went ham on it a couple days ago. I started coughing, my lungs started closing up, but it tastes so good that I just kept going for it. It's almost like tahini, it's super addicting. Yeah, so I didn't realize that it was that until today when I tried it again. It's definitely that. In any case, this is my monthly favorite, so welcome. If this is your first time, I'm trying to do this thing where I start off every month with things that you don't have to consume or go out and purchase. You can just view on your computer or you can enjoy without actually having something physically there. So the first thing I'm gonna start off with is a YouTube favorite. I actually have two this month. Um, so the first one is Jen Rogers. So Jen Rogers is a lifestyle YouTuber that I've been following for quite some time. She and her husband live in Korea and they do um, videos, well she does like a lot of talks on um, her life, on religion, on uh, marriage, um, and she does her makeup while she does these talks as well, morning chats, and they're amazing. It's just very personal, very honest, very open, um, and then she also does these uh, date nights with her husband, which I believe she just recently started, I haven't seen them for a little while, and then she just released one pretty recently. So. She goes through, like every relationship, you kind of go through arguments and stuff like that. So she and her husband, you can see their conflict re resolution styles, and I think it's great. I really enjoy watching her channel because much of the time when you're watching other channels, um, especially couples who vlog together, you only see the good things, and that's not bad. That's not necessarily bad either, but then you see all these um, relationships on YouTube coming to an end because of YouTube, because they don't film any of the bad things, because it becomes a burden and all that, so I like Jen's approach and not just the good things, it's also the slightly awkward arguments and stuff too, which every relationship has, it's important to have, you know, conflict, resolution, compromise, that kind of thing. <sighs> okay, I can feel my throat closing up right now, so I'm gonna try and go through this quickly. This is so painful. <laughs> okay, the second channel that I wanna talk about is Hannah Eleanor. And she's a jewelry designer. But she also has a YouTube channel and she does a lot of videos on um, low waste. So I've watched a lot of documentaries on um, zero waste. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I have a pretty low waste lifestyle. I always carry Tupperware containers, the glass Tupperware containers, the heavy stuff in my car so that whenever I go to grocery shopping or go to Sprouts, I can buy from the bulk bins. And then I also use that to carry my leftovers for restaurants whenever I go out to eat as well. So I know it's like really kind of dorky to carry in your own Tupperware and stuff like that, but I never finish my food. So um, it's nice and convenient to have that in your car. Um, so I always carry that around. I always use a recyclable or a reusable water bottle. I always, I use a Diva cup. The only thing for me is that it's a work in progress. So it's something that I can learn to do better. Like I can learn to weed out using paper towels. I know that there are things that I can change and things that I can improve on. So I like watching Hannah because I don't know, she makes really subtle, easy, doable approaches to low waste. And she doesn't even call it zero waste. She calls it low waste because she's just really trying to cut it down and it's, you know, it's everyone can improve on that. There are little things that we can do here and there to like create less of an impact or like less landfill. So a little bit about Hannah, she's from, or she lives in Austin, Texas. She just bought a house with her husband and so she does a lot of like these room tour, decor, decorating type videos that I'm really interested in watching. She's doing room by room. So yeah, I was really excited to find her channel. So whenever she has a new video out, I always click that immediately. It's like clickbait for me without even being clickbait. So I really like watching her. Moving on to film. So recently I brought back uniform videos for those of you who aren't familiar with uniform videos. It's where you um, wear the same things over and over again every single day. So when you go out and buy things, you kind of keep in mind how many years you can have this item for, how many times you can buy it, etc, etc. So in general, you would spend a little bit less over time and you have a more tailored closet 
to your style, I guess. So I haven't made a uniform video or like an outfit of the day type video in a little bit over a year. And the reason why is because I started watching this documentary that my friend Jeanette told me about, which is called The True Cost. And it's about the world of fast fashion. So I'm gonna leave a trailer down below. I talked about it briefly in my last uniform video. It's about the world of fast fashion. And I noticed that a lot of people in the comment section said that um, when they do buy from fast fashion, um, they only buy one thing and they wear it over and over again. That's not the point that I was saying. What I was saying is that people who haul or people who buy a boatload of stuff and they only wear it once or they only wear it for one party or one event or whatever and then they throw it away. So, it, you know, it just goes straight to landfill. It doesn't really add value to your life. So in any case, you should definitely watch that documentary. I actually finally finished it the whole way through um, at the beginning of this month. So. I really like the documentary. It's made such a huge impact on my life. I started watching on uh, Hulu, This Is Us, with Manny Moore and Milo Ventimiglia, I think that's how you pronounce his name. The two together, it really like caught my attention, and then my friend Cecilia talked about it, and she said that she literally cries every single week after watching that show. And I don't think of myself as a very um, emotional person or anything like that, but literally every single episode made me cry. And it's so good, and it's about family, it's about the hardships of raising a family. I'll just leave it at that. It's about raising a family, and it's really captivating, it's so good, it's so well written, and I watched it in two days, that's how good it is. A record favorite, so I normally do a record favorite every month, but this month I honestly haven't been listening to any records. Everything that I have out right now is something that I've been listening to for a while, so it's not anything out of the ordinary, but I will say that um, I've been on Spotify a lot lately because there's this thing called Discover Weekly where they kind of take what you listen to all week and they make you your own little playlist. And for some reason, every single week it's been getting better and better and better. Last week it was phenomenal. So I've just been on that and I've been discovering a lot of new music that way too, like artists that I've never heard of before just learning a lot about music, so I'm really stoked on that. But I'll have my link down in the description box if you guys want to like check out what I've been listening to. And it's been making me happy every single Monday, which is not usually a day that I would look forward to. And I also make a lot of Spotify playlists as well, so you guys can check those out if you guys would like. My Instagram favorite is Homebase LA, and it's my friend's shop, but he puts up like inspiration photos of like apartment things, so I've been really enjoying that. It's my friend Austin, I did an apartment tour with him before, and it got really good um, feedback. So he actually opened up his own little online store, which will be I think open in a few days, I'm not quite sure. But he has a really good eye and his Instagram has been really inspiring. So my eyes are like tearing up like crazy right now and my throat is closing up and my neck is just killing me. I just, I don't know what to do. I have to finish this video so I'm just gonna keep fighting it. But yeah, check out Homebase LA if you guys are looking for like little quirky um, home goods things. So a clothing favorite that I've been really enjoying lately, I've been wearing this like back to back, but you've probably already seen this in one of my videos, but this is a German work coat. So I think it's meant for like an auto mechanic, like they put it on above their clothes to not make it so dirty or whatever, or you can wear it kind of like coveralls. I really like this though because um, it's a thicker herringbone, almost denim-like material. I got this at this place called Virgil Normal. I think they do have a couple left, so if you guys are ever in LA, definitely check out that shop because they have some really good stuff. I actually got this pin from there too, it's a Serge Gainsbourg pin. I know vintage is a little bit harder to find, but um, I think it's worthwhile if you can seek it out and find one that you really like. I know other brands actually make them too, I know 6397 makes one, so and there are ways to find it. But I would go vintage before getting like a remade one. A hat that I've been enjoying is this one right here from this brand called Clyde. I actually have it in my Instagram profile. I've been really loving it for quite some time. It's actually a dome hat. So a dome hat is where it's just a dome. But what I did was I crushed this down so it's a bit more like a fedora, I guess. It's a good sun hat as well. It's pretty lightweight so it's not too hot. I know this isn't for everyone like having the brim go all the way up, but you can actually just adjust it as well. You can wear it down if you want. I just like having it up because it's kind of like out of your face. I kind of look like a boy, like Jack White or something. <laughs> when we went to Home Goods, so I mentioned Radish Goods a while ago. They had this candle called Camping Pines that I really enjoyed, but she came out with a new one called Vintage Rose. I just ran out of her candles and I was on her site and I was looking at the photos and I'm like, hey, I should just like 
contact her about shooting photos for her. So I contacted her and I shot all the photos on her site. So I'm really excited about that. I'm getting a little bit of practice in because I really want to figure out this whole um, photography situation. I have a ton of background paper. I'm working with my camera. I'm trying to learn how to edit. So yeah, in any case, check out the site. Tell me what you think about the photos, if they need to be more consistent or anything like that. I would love some feedback. She came out with this candle called Vintage Rose. To me, it doesn't really smell like a rose though. It smells really fresh. I can see that it's a little bit of a rose, but I don't know, it's such a fresh, clean scent. Almost like clean laundry in a way, but that's not even a good example. It's almost like very luxurious skincare. That's what it smells like to me. When you say vintage rose, I just think of like dried up roses that you keep in a potpourri in the bathroom or whatever. This doesn't smell like that. It's really fresh. And another thing that has made a huge difference in my life, which I never really thought about before, is this pillow right here. This is from this brand called Coop Home Goods, and they have amazing reviews online. But the reason why I like it, I took the case off of it, but or my, my personal case off of it, but it comes in this case right here, and then another case. And what sold me on it was the video that they had on their site about how to adjust the pillows. So it's filled with memory foam, like little bits of memory foam like this. So you, as soon as you get it, you let it kind of inflate a little bit and then you kind of adjust it to your own needs. So instead of throwing them away or throwing the little, um, what do you call it, memory foam spongy things away, I just put them in a Ziploc bag and then kind of store it away just in case I need it in the future. But I like my pillows kind of fluffy like this. And it's super comfortable and the crazy thing is that I had never invested in pillows before because I would normally only buy whatever felt right and if it's like a lower cost because for whatever reason to me that wasn't very important. But the thing is you spend eight hours a day, if not more, on your pillow, right? Like I don't even spend eight hours in my car or like on my couch. So it's important to have something comfortable on your head. Never really thought about that before so as soon as I made the switch it made such a difference but yeah I'm so happy about it and it's just so gushy I just oh, I love it so body brushing is something I recently started doing like dry brushing so I use one of these things it's from Amazon and I use this well I have a wet one one that I keep in the shower so I can like exfoliate my skin when it's wet I never did dry brushing before but recently I started and it's made quite the difference. Like I feel like it really pushes my lymph nodes and gets my body moving, gets my blood circulating. It comes with this little chart which I read once and then I put it back in the box. But essentially what I do is I just push everything towards, or I brush everything down and towards the center of my body. So if I'm working on my legs then I'll brush up. And I do this right before I shower. And the reason why I ordered this kit though is because it came with a contact sponge which someone had said to order before so I gotta try this out and it's been working great. It's not quite as impressive as like uh, Clarisonic to me but it's perfect for if you just want to leave in the shower or something like that. It also comes with this dry face brush which I haven't used just because I feel like it might be a little bit too... Actually, it doesn't feel like it would be too heavy. It also comes with the sponge which I haven't used. I've only used a dry brush and the contact sponge. Oh and it also comes with this extension thing so you can put it onto your dry brush and then do the back part but I don't it's not really convenient for me so I don't even use this so on the topic of massaging I've been using this with this a ton recently I've been using it every morning so for the past two mornings after this happened so I got this this is a jade face roller I actually don't know if it's real jade because I got it in Vietnam for I think about like two dollars which is I think just not quite the right price for jade, right? So what I do is I'll put about like a nickel size amount of this. This is Riddle Oil Botanicals face oil and it's all organic and it smells so good. And I think it's only made of seven ingredients, but what you do is you take about a nickel size amount out and it smells so good. So it really wakes me up in the morning too. So I take about a nickel size amount out and then I kind of press it onto my face and neck. And then I take this jade roller and I roll it out. So from inside out. And then from here, I kind of roll it up like that. And I do it about three times all over my face. And the only thing that you want to roll down is your neck so you can push everything 
down and flush it out basically. So I've been doing this combination every morning and I've been really enjoying it. I've only stopped doing it for two days because of this situation and I really miss it. I woke up this morning, my face was completely swollen because of the allergic reaction. One eye was like insane. And I really wanted to do this because I felt like it would flush out the lymph nodes and everything. But I think you can find similar things on Amazon as well. I'll try to find it and link it down below. Let's just keep talking about skincare. So a peel that I've been really enjoying. This is something that I do about once a week. This is the Natura Beast Glyco Extreme Peel. It stings a little bit right when you put it on. You leave it on for about 20 minutes and then rinse it off and your skin is just renewed. I just think it works really well as a gentle chemical exfoliant. Even though it stings a little bit right when you put it on, like as soon as you take it off, it just feels like your skin's brand new again. I got this from Peach and Lily. It smells really good and it sounds really funny. It's called the May Coop Raw Sauce. When I first heard it, I was just like, what the hell is raw sauce? And then I read about it and there's so many benefits to essences and it really balances your skin before you're putting on like a moisturizer. So I'm really enjoying this. It usually follows my toner step if I decide to do toner that day. To me, because my skin has been a little bit more dry lately, it acts like a really good extra moisturizing layer. So I've been really enjoying this. I saw somewhere that you're supposed to put on an eye cream before you put on like a facial moisturizer. So I've been using this eye cream at night. This is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye Cream. I have had my eye on this for quite some time, actually this entire line, just because I like the face oil, the cleansing oil so much. And it smells so good. And I don't know if you can tell, but um, I used to have a little bit of fine lines and now they're completely gone. So I think just using eye creams every night and every morning as well has made such a huge difference. So I've been really enjoying this and the smell of it because it smells a little bit like lavender really puts me to sleep. So I've been reaching for this a ton. A face cream that I've been loving lately that I didn't realize I reached for so much until recently, I'm almost out of it, as you can see. This is the La Mer Perfecting Treatment and you can use this in the morning or at night. And it's just a very soft moisturizer. So it's not too heavy at all. It's almost like a gel-like, almost serum-like moisturizer. It's like a refreshing drink of water for your skin and it feels so good. It really brightens my mood. So I've been using this for the past couple months now. And really, I didn't realize that I reached for it so much until like the past couple of days when I was reaching the end of it. So as you can see, I'm almost out of it. So I'm gonna have to repurchase it pretty soon. I actually reached for this more than the original La Mer cream, so. Yeah, really enjoying this. Some makeup that I've been really enjoying lately. I used Bare Minerals when I was in high school when they used to have infomercials. It was actually the first makeup that I ordered off television and it came with like a little CD and I would watch those videos before like makeup videos on YouTube, you know? I would watch those over and over again and they were so fascinating to watch and I actually pulled it up on YouTube the other day and watched some of them again. I just think it's so interesting to see how people do their makeup. But anyway, um, what really sold me on bare minerals when I was in high school was that my skin was kind of acne prone and it was the only thing that didn't cause me breakouts. But recently I started using it again. So this is just the bare minerals original. I remember they started making the matte one after the original, so I started using that one instead. But I actually really like the original formula. It's not too matte, it's like a natural looking skin finish. I really like it. I know it seems like a powder, so if you have like dry skin, it probably doesn't seem like it would be good for that. But actually, it's really nice because it really forms your skin. It's As soon as it gets on your skin, it feels almost like a cream because it melts right in. And then when it mixes with your oils, it just looks better and better throughout the day. This brush is a game changer. It just fits perfectly into this little container and it blends everything out just so well. For someone like me who likes a more sheer to Sometimes medium coverage, this is perfect for that. And the color I have it is golden medium. So anyway, um, Bare Minerals actually has this thing called Mineral Veil, which I actually don't use. I use, I've been using this because Claire had mentioned it. This is from Givenchy, this is the Prism Libre. It's just a bunch of different colors as you can see here, I'll pull this up. There's this little sponge, which I don't use. I actually use a big powder brush and it's supposed to be color correcting. I don't use it for color correcting. I don't feel like I really need color correcting so much. I like it because it gives you a really nice ethereal glow and it feels so silky. It feels unlike anything I've ever experienced. It makes my skin just look so 
effervescent, like very glowy. And then for blush, I think this is pretty obvious. I've been using the Glossier Cloud Paint a ton. I made a video on this, which I'll have it linked down below, but it goes into detail about all the different colors and how it feels and everything. But the reason why I like this so much is because it has the texture of a foundation. It's super easy to blend. I really love this. I've been using it on my eyelids as well to create a little bit of depth. And I really like the No Blush blush color. Of all the blushes, this one's my favorite color and then followed by Haze, which is a bit more of a berry color. Mascara. So I recently started wearing mascara and mascara isn't usually something that I would normally wear, but I walked into um, Barney's and the saleswoman kind of attacks me with like all of these products and trying out these things. So she tried the mascara on me and I was sold. So, but yeah, this is from Givenchy. It's Phenomenize mascara in the color Deep Black. And the thing that caught my attention was this crazy brush. It has like a ball, like a spiky ball instead of like a long mascara. And the way she was doing my um, lashes, she was just kind of going back and forth rather than going like this. She was just going back and forth first and then letting it dry a little bit and then combing it through. And it just made my eyelashes look crazy and she didn't even curl it. She actually uh, introduced me to this too, but as soon as Claire talked about it, I just knew how to try it. So there's this online store that I think is really interesting and they source goods that are vegan, non-toxic, and cruelty-free. And they just kind of put everything together because I know it's like really important to some people. This is where I got this. This is Grown Alchemist. It's the vanilla orange hand cream and it's just like the perfect little size like that. But oddly enough, there's not a lot of product in here because I don't use that much of it. I use maybe about this much each time I use it. And it's really good to know that it's non-toxic, cruelty-free, and vegan too. So if you are looking for a site that curates just those goods, those particular goods, then I'll have that linked in the description box down below. But I feel like a lot of brands are pushing towards that direction nowadays. Quick update on my allergic reaction. So it's, well, it's like all over my body. It's not just on my neck, but it's like all over down my legs and everything too. And now my arms are really itching. So I really hope this goes away. All right, last thing. So I have been using these for quite some time now. This is the Nail Envy Matte and Nail Envy Original. So what I do is I use this, the matte formula, whenever I don't have a nail color on. So I've been using this a little bit more. And then I've been using this whenever I do put another coating on top. But really the matte one, still has a little bit of shine. It looks like a natural nail. This is more of like a super shine. I know I've talked about them before and I know I've featured them in a favorites video before, but I've been using it consistently since November and I've seen a huge, huge difference. And because my nails are a lot healthier and not chipping away, I've been taking care of them a lot more as well. And I've been wearing rings, so I've been really excited about this. So if you're looking for a nail strengthener, I definitely recommend these two. This one's actually my favorite, but I feel like the original formula always works a little bit better for whatever reason. But I generally always reach for this one because I like my nails to look a little bit more natural. So I really like these two. Definitely recommend trying it out. I've tried other nail strengtheners too. This one's just the best in my opinion. All right, I know that was a long ass video. So if you stayed till the end, thank you. I wanted to do a giveaway. So my friend Austin, so he made me this keychain a while ago. This is like a wristlet keychain because I really like putting my keys on a doorknob, just keeping it there. So I'm gonna post this photo on Instagram. Three of you will win one for yourself. So all you have to do is follow his Instagram and then leave a comment on the photo that I have up. So he um, cuts them himself. He designed this whole thing himself. And he also treats it with Austin Secret stuff, which I've done a giveaway for before. But essentially it's a coconut oil and beeswax mixture that he makes himself. And it's amazing. And I use it on my cuticles and on my leather goods and on my hands and on my eyebrows from time to time. It's just an amazing multi-purpose balm. If you guys are interested, then follow the directions. I'll have them all listed down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for putting up with me. Sorry about like my vocal changes just because my throat is just killing me right now. Thanks for bearing with me. If you guys have any questions about anything, please leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.